so my name is Tiana Tsimjenic, uh, I'm originally from Serbia. Hello, but... my name is Raimunda Skaleda, I am from Lithuania. Yes, my name okay. is Edith Ango, from Philippines. Hi everyone, my name is Filip Filipic and I'm coming from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Hi, I'm Andrea Navarini, I'm from in Italy. But also, uh, in Czech Republic it's a very low unemployment. Okay. So I know a plenty of people who are working two jobs, three jobs, you simply can't find a job. Okay. Uh, My qualification is uh, I have a degree in Masters of Biomedical Engineering. I think the uh, future is like bright because there are a lot of new technologies and yes. the work for field engineers will be every time. The demand okay. for biomedical is uh, it, oh, okay. Getting a job, it is completely easier, you are telling. Yes. yes, especially now in Germany. I think in all of the Europe, a lot of people are coming from all, all, all over the world. Okay. Don't give up because I got refused like 30 times. We have a good the troubleshooting. We have a good the relation with customers. Hello everyone. Today I have some of my colleagues those who are working in the medical device industry. So I have some questions for you. So can you please introduce yourself, your name and from which country you are? So my name is Tiana Tsimjenic. Uh, I'm originally from Serbia. I finished my studies in Czech Republic and I work in Czech Republic. Okay, so which company you are working for and what's the job role you are doing right now? Uh, I work for HPSD. Uh, this is a company distributing uh, medical devices and I work as product and application specialist. It's a sales and it's an application specialist as well. Okay, uh, so what do you like the most about your current job role? Uh, I was working uh, about five years in uh, medicine, uh, okay. like in a hospital, so uh, this job is something very different, it's uh, more dynamic and uh, what I like the most is definitely my dynamic job, you know, there is no fixed time, uh, there is uh, a lot of empty space, I can fly, uh, plan all by myself and I think that's uh, probably what I like the most. Oh, okay. So I, as uh, most of the, my videos are watching by biomedical engineer. So I would like to know what is the average salary those who are working in the industry may get in your country? It depends because uh, Prague is capital city and the salaries in Prague, I guess they are like uh, bigger, uh, but I was working in Bern as well. Uh, there is uh, plenty of different, uh, like um, where you can uh, apply your job in, in Czech Republic. It's very, uh, I think that there is a very huge market, so okay. uh, salaries, um, I can say probably some average, it also depends, you know, because it depends on the company, it depends on your role, uh, depends on your experience, it's the same everywhere, okay. but I would say maybe 1,050 euros to 2,000, depends. Okay. Uh, I have some other question, I don't know whether you will be able to answer it properly. So I have many of my... Uh, colleagues or friends who are asking me from India okay so they are looking for job opportunities in abroad most of the time I'm currently working in GCC so when it comes to Europe or USA it is more about work visa it is more complicated so do you know how it is or the possibility of getting a job in a Europe country Depends also. Uh, in Czech Republic, it's a very low unemployment. Okay. So I know a plenty of people who are working two jobs, three jobs. You simply can't find a job. Okay. Uh, so I think that for Czech Republic, it's not it's not big deal. Like it's uh, not very not very hard to find a job in your field. What what you study, you can find a job. Okay. So what I'm uh, asking is whether it is possible to migrate from India to Czech Republic, whether uh, they will yes, allow I us. Think, yes, I think, but um, in this case, uh, of course, it would be easier if you speak language and the, the language is completely different, but yes, of course, especially in Prague and Brno, these are like huge hubs, uh, if you speak English, I think, there are plenty, like even on my faculty, there was a plenty of guys from India. So, oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Very, very oh, that's really good. And I would like to know uh, what are the other opportunities those who are working in from maybe from biomedical background in medical device industry they are having in your country or in your company itself. Uh, I think that, like uh, research development, you know, there are plenty of these research centers. Mm. Uh, these are okay, like private companies, distributed companies, because uh, Prague is uh, you know a huge city, and uh, I think there is a, a lot of uh, job opportunities. What are the different profiles? If you can suggest something, for example, maybe service engineer 
or you are working product specialist right you know even when you look for example even when you look uh, for like um, education degrees mm. you can see a very different profile so, so uh, the job you know you can apply your job a basic level it depends or, of course or your experience for example maybe you are from india yeah and now you just go to some uh, to some uh, probably some let's say company maybe in some high uh, some uh, way of working with india uh, you're indian you speak indian you're bi biomedical you can really like find this it depends really mm. uh, on your background and uh, your experience okay so uh many times i have seen biomedical engineers are finding sometimes difficulty to find a job so i would like to know how was your job search experience well honestly my job experience are uh, very easy mm. because directly after bachelor i started working in hospital during that time i was uh, doing my master degree moved to prague from brno to prague and uh, after it i did some internship uh, in uh, also one huge uh, biomedical company okay. and uh, it was very easy for me because the experience in labs uh, uh, languages you know uh, some internship i i had a reference letter so for me very easy Okay, sometimes I have seen this freshers are getting very difficult to get into their first job. So do you find any such difficulty? No. Okay. Uh, so uh, I, one more thing, if you have some advice to those who are interested to working in the biomedical industry, so what it would be? Maybe some of the challenges they may have to face or anything that you would like to give a message? Like uh, some advice? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think that uh, especially for young people, the salary is not the biggest deal, you know. Okay. Uh, the most import important is experience, uh, education, you know, you try to learn as much as you can uh, during the years, you still can learn, you know, and okay. after, you know, you, you it simply, the progress will come, you know, okay. it's about how you do it, so yeah. that's best. Okay, yeah, thank you for uh, sharing all these details with me and all the very best, thank you so much. Uh, my company called Vitrolab and I am field engineer. Okay, uh, so for how long you are working with the company? Uh, it's now will be uh, five years. Five years. So uh, which are the product lines you are usually handling? Uh, product lines, uh, usually blood gas devices, biochemistry okay. and uh, immunohematology. Okay, which are the different companies you are handling? Uh, with? Now it's uh, orthoclinical diagnostics, radiometer, okay. it's the lab. Okay. So, what's your uh, basic qualification? My qualification is uh, I have a degree in Masters of Biomedical Engineering. Okay, so which university you have done your course? I run in Kaunas Technology University. How is in your country the job scope for biomedical engineers? Uh, how? Yeah, it, 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 it is easy to get a job. Oh, uh, I think it's easy because there is not enough uh, field engineers in my country. Okay. But uh, you need to have a uh, appropriate uh, uh, learning. Experience. Okay. Yeah. So uh, when you were searching for a job after your graduation, maybe how was your experience? It was uh, difficult, or it was easy, uh, or it was okay. Basically, for me, hmm. uh, when I finishing my master, I have applied for a job. Okay. And in the middle of the hmm. my studies, I get this job. Okay. So which are the platform you usually use for applying for jobs? Uh, for applying for jobs, we have uh, in our country we, ha we have uh, called CV Bank. Okay. And some other platforms like LinkedIn, which are using all of us probably. And what about the salary range in your country uh, for biomedical engineers? It depends uh, how much experience you have. Okay. If you are like working for two years, you can get paid like one thousand five hundred. Okay. In this field. Okay. And when you are above like four years and ten years in experience, it's mm. I think no, there is no limit. Oh, it depends the on the company. Probably depends on the company most. But the minimum salary with when you have a five years mm -hmm. experience will mm -hmm. be like one thousand eight hundred. Okay, so you consider it as a good salary compared to other field? Yeah, it's in my country salary. it's a good salary. So how do you look into the future of biomedical engineering industry in your perspective? So whether the opportunities will be more in future or it is going to get saturated? Uh, I think uh, future is like bright because uh, there are a lot of new technologies and yes. the work for field engineers will be every time. Of course, that's really true. And uh, I, my, uh, my videos are watching by many biomedical engineers and job seekers also. So what advice you would be giving to the new engineers? New engineers uh, don't 
afraid to ask, observe and learn. Okay. So currently in your job role, what do you like the most? I like the most uh, that we are not sitting in one place. We need to travel to okay. meet uh, different persons and mm. different labs. So you like traveling? Yeah, I like traveling, but also not sitting in one place. Okay. So basically, you have challenge every day with different problems. Okay. So you don't have any routine work. Okay. okay. So I think you have more flexibility also yeah. towards your work. Yeah. So you like it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank now I'm working in Saudi Arabia at Samir Trading Company. Uh, as a service engineer. As a field service engineer. Okay. Previously, which are the companies you were working and how many years of experience you have in this field? Uh, more than 10 years as a biomedical engineer. Okay. I work in, uh, before I joined in Samir, I work in Philippines as a field service engineer. And then after that, uh, uh, before that, I work also in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh, as a in-house biomedical engineer. Okay, so basically, what's your education qualification? Uh, for me, I finished uh, electronics and communication engineer. Okay, then you started working in the medical device industry? Yes, I, w I started uh, uh, working as a biomedical engineer. Yeah. Okay, so... In the field of medical oh, okay. devices. So in Philippines, how the opportunities for biomedical engineers or the opportunities in the medical device industry? Uh, many many opportunity also yes, uh, because uh, this one is a uh, it's uh, like a new profession. Yeah. Because uh, in my country, uh, there's no no biomedical before and uh, uh, now started. Now it's starting. So opportunities the, are more. You may be. Yeah, telling. more. Uh, the, the the demand for bi biomedical is. Uh, it, more. Oh, okay, getting a job it is completely easier. You are telling. Yeah, it's easily. Uh, okay, as so it's new branch. New branch. Yeah. Okay, so uh, during uh, your job search time after your graduation or even uh, during the job change, how you manage to get a new job or what is the platform you were using to apply for the job? Yeah, uh, for applying for a job, at least uh, I'm searching for a job site job, and then uh, finding uh, and also some of my friends, uh, they, uh, some, they, they, they are uh, recommend me. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. So through your connections? For the connections, yes. Okay, so what are the challenges if you say in the field when you are working? So what are the challenges you usually face? Oh, many. Because especially you need to uh, to deal with the customers. So handling? handling the customers. That is one of the most challenges, right? Yes, that's the right. <laughs> okay, troubleshooting is Trouble more easier. Troubleshooting, yeah. And also... Uh, traveling a uh, little bit far mm. like that. oh so that's also we need to manage right yeah so i know there are many people are looking for jobs in biomedical industry or working with medical devices so what advice or suggestion you are having to them yeah for me, my advice is uh, getting more uh, uh, seminars mm. and trainings mm. and uh, need to, to study the the manuals of manuals. the Understanding the basics. Understanding, basic. yes, the basic, so that uh, they can uh, get uh, more information. To so that will help it them will to help. get job easier. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing the details and joining me uh, today. Thank you. My current company is Medichem from Sarajevo, and I work as laboratory specialist. So you are working as a laboratory specialist. Yes. Well, honestly, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, there is not so, so much, too much opportunities okay. for biomechanical engineers. Okay. I also had a lot of struggle because I'm, I'm, I finished biochemistry. It, it was also a lot of struggle to find a job, honestly. Okay, so for you, the jobs are too a little difficult. Yes, finding a job is a little difficult. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, in your country, so getting a job for biomedical engineers yeah, is a little it's bit tough. challenging. It's tough, yeah. Okay, so in salary aspect, how much we can expect in your country for biomedical engineers or working in medical in device well, industry? Let's say from 700 euros okay. up to 1000, something like that. Oh, so, so that's the salary we can expect? Yeah. Do you think that's like that. uh, really good or uh, below the expectation? Mm, well, 1000 euros would be fine. Okay. 1000 euros would be fine. But it depends. It depends on the company, honestly. Yeah. Well, first advice is don't give up. 
because I got refused like 30 times. Okay. Um, yeah, I got I got refused a lot. Yeah. Also, my CV was good. The letter, the cover letter, I, I think it was good. And also, I, I was thinking, okay, I was like during the college, mm -hmm. I wrote like nine scientific papers. I published them. I was thinking, okay, maybe mm -hmm. this this will be easier for me to find a job or something like that. But it wasn't easy. Uh, my first job wasn't even in biochemistry. It was just sales in okay. a company that has nothing to do with with my profession so mm -hmm. i was working there for like a year and a half until i got this job opportunity but guys just don't give up just well i was always guys. i was always trying to correct something for, uh, i was i was searching for a job in germany okay and for you guys the best advice for germany is mm -hmm. the toughest thing to write is cover letter nothing else is important cover letter is like the most important thing and i checked the statistic they spend like mm -hmm. six seconds on reading your cover letter so first couple of sentences this is the most important thing your your your, your, your diploma your grades doesn't matter your cover letter mm -hmm. is like the most important thing and i think wherever wherever in europe of course whenever you're trying to find a job that is like the most important thing okay so which platform you mostly use for applying for jobs uh linkedin hink and there was uh some german platforms it was one mm -hmm. platform for uh Bayern region mm. I forgot the name but mm. it was the one okay so is it possible for uh, currently I'm from India okay. so to migrate to maybe Germany or European countries do you find people often work here well actually yes especially now in Germany I think in all of the Europe a lot of people are coming from all, all, all over the world okay so you you are telling it is possible to mm -hmm. migrate Okay, so I, because I'm getting lots of queries from many of biomedical engineers because those who are looking for jobs in yeah. you know, abroad. So I think that's why I added this question. Thank you so much for sharing all these details and thank spending you. time with me. It was nice to, to meet you. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. In this moment, I work directly in uh, ortho clinical diagnostic. Yes, I'm a service engineer in my company. Uh, what are the skill set mostly uh, if somebody is interested to join in your field or in the same role? What are the skill sets that may be required? Uh, the skills principally is, is uh, to have um, an, uh, a little experience in these fields, principally in the, in the medical uh, service engineering. Another okay. skill you need uh, is um, to, to have a good uh, troubleshooting, okay. to have a good uh, relation with customers. Right. So after coming to the medical device industry, so what do you like the most in your current job role? Uh, I like uh, I like a lot uh, the, flexi the flexibility because in a lot of cases uh, mm. uh, to, to to travel a lot, uh, mm. but in my case uh, I travel in in a single region. Okay, I have uh, my customer, mm. and um, I like this uh, mm. because in another company. Mm. We travel in my case in, in, in all of Italy, mm. and uh, the customer is not the same. Okay, so you have to, you don't need to travel much. You have to yeah, in this moment, uh, I travel uh, only in my region. Okay.